let's say you guys, um, you know, you, you understand the, the ratio, you understand your right triangles, and you're just looking for a chart and some steps, basically a table. So you have your 30, 60, 90, okay, which we know to be x, x squared of 3, and 2x. So basically, if they give you the 30, let's say they give you 5, let, let's, even not, let's not even use a number. Let's just say the number is here. If you get the 30, to get the other two sides, you multiply by square root of 3, or you multiply by 2. Okay, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you through this chart a little bit. Now, now keep in mind this dot means multiplication. Let's say they give you a 30, 60, 90. Ooh, that's a... And, and they give you the 60. Let's say that the, the number is where the 60 is. Your first step is to divide by square root of 3. And then second step, you're going this way. You're multiplying by 2. Let's say they give you a 30, 60, 90 and they're giving you the number where the 90 is. Again, you're going back to the 30, but, by this, but this time dividing by 2, and they go to the 60 to multiply by square root of 3. And a lot of you guys are stating, were stating this in your rules with your Google Classroom. Now, let's say you got the 45, 45, 90, right? You got your ratio x, x, x squared to 2. If they give you the number of the 45, this is just the same. So you could say it's like, like multiplying by 1, but it's the same thing. It's equal. We'll put the equal sign there. Or you multiply by 2. Let's say they give you a 45, 45, 90, and they're giving you this, the number opposite. They're giving you the side opposite 90. You're going to go back to 45 by dividing by square root of 2, which will get you this number. And you know that's equal, so this will just be the same. You're going this way. Now remember, anytime you, like in this case, you're dividing a number divided by square root of 2, you have to conjugate and multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So let's say this was 10. You would get 10 square root of 2. Let's say this is 10. Over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is square root of 4 or 2. And then you reduce to 5 square root of 2. Or let's say, so this was the star, let's say you also had this one here. Oh, I said multiply by square root of 3. That's incorrect. Actually, you're dividing. Yeah, very good. Dividing by square root of 3. So let's say that happens. Let's say you get a number like, and this one I showed you one you could reduce. Let me just give you one maybe where you can't reduce, just so you see what that looks like. Then you get 11 square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, or 3, and then you would just leave it, leave it like this here. And that's just basically your chart of how to go from one piece to another.